Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So students, in this video we will discuss FA2 unit number 4 that is account from incomplete record short questions. So theory plus problematic we will discuss in this question. So compulsory one question will get in part A. So this video will be useful to you all. Without getting late, let's get into the video and uh, don't skip the video mark. Students, here in fourth unit, the first important question is what do you mean by single entry system and double entry system? Single entry system is also known as actually a incomplete record. Okay, whatever the incomplete record of double entry system is there, that is called the single entry system. So, our accounting system is a double entry system. Okay, means whatever the adjustments you are having, you need to enter it into the two accounts. Okay, that is called double entry system. Single entry system means is used only one time in any account of that. Okay, it is known as single entry system and double entry system okay mostly single entry system is used by small businesses okay so if in case of a large business or if any case of a transaction of debit and credit more means we will use double entry systems ma. so this is the thing and this is the first important question here in this unit we are not having any long question theory so compulsory short question it will ask they will ask either problematic or uh, uh, theory mostly we can expect theory and what are the advantages of single entry system means first one it is compared to double entry system single entry system is easy and simple and it is useful for the small scale businesses this is the second point third point is it is easy to rectify the profit and losses okay and fourth one is it maintains account records easily compared to the double entry system single entry system will be recorded easily and uh, limitations what are the disadvantages of single entry system you are having means the first one is it does not record debit and credit aspect okay in every time it does not require all the accepts whatever it is having and the second one is joint stock company do not object because do not adopt this type of uh, accounts why because it's a legal requirements it because of too many legal requirements will be they are in single uh, single entry system and the third point is it can be used by the frauds okay in order to if you are not uh, accepting it if you are not controlling properly the accounts we will uh, face the fraud lent okay so that is the third limitation like that you need to remember it okay next one you are having features of single entry system huh? here the features of single entry system is cash book is maintained right cash book is particularly we can we will uh, maintain that cash book for the both personal as well as the business transaction purpose and the second one is law lack of uniformity lack of uniformity is nothing but equality compared to the other uh, it might be different from the things so this is the second one and the third point is only personal accounts are maintained whatever the personal accounts they are having that only were maintained in this uh, Thing. and the fourth one is applicability okay applicability is nothing but this only is applicable for the sole proprietorship small scale businesses individual business this is the thing and here in the question ma they have asked problematic here what they have asked opening stock they have given closing stock they have given purchases they have given sales they have given purchase return sales return wages and goods proprietor in final accounts whatever the trading account you have done that you need to do it here okay trading account what is the trading account you are doing here opening stock closing stock purchases sales purchase return sales return will be minus and here you are having drawings goods used by proprietor for personal purpose he is using so you need to direct it no this is the answer ma next you are having uh, a seventh one is important so seventh one what they are asking total creators and purchases they are asking that is a problematic question you need to learn if you are perfect with the long you can easily attempt this four marks problematic question okay students next to the last one they are asking the opening stock calculation how we will do the opening stock purchases will be written on the debit side closing stock and sales will be written on the credit side okay whatever the gross profit we are having that we will do on the sales right 
So whatever the sales amount you are having, one lakh twenty thousand. If you do twenty five percent, means thirty thousand. What is the remaining balance? Is called opening stock. Means forty thousand is the opening stock. Like this, you need to do the problematic calculation. Hope this video is useful. From unit number four, this is the theory as well as the problematic questions which may expect in part A compulsory one question you will attempt, and the risk here is four marks. So this is all about the video, students. If you like this video, then do like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel, and share with all your friends and groups. Okay? So this video will be useful for you all. If you are having any doubts, let me know in the comment section. All the very best for your examination. See you all in next video. Bye bye, students.